do you wish you were at the beach right now? The answer is yes. Well, good, because guess what? I'm actually heading over to South Alito Beach, which is in Sarasota, Florida. We'll be driving around the Bayfront area in downtown Sarasota to get over the Ringling Bridge onto Lido Key, then through St. Armand Circle, all the way down to Benjamin Franklin Drive to the South Lido Key Beach Park, where there's plenty of parking. There are three beaches on Lido Key, which include North Lido Beach, Lido Beach, and South Lido Beach. What sets Lido Key beaches apart from Siesta Key Beach? I would say that these beaches are less crowded and therefore provide for a relaxing experience. Plus, the beaches are beautiful. Today, we're headed to the southern tip of Lido Key. We will park at Ted Sperling Park at South Alito Beach, which is a 100 acre park in walking distance to the beach. Parking here is free and the park is perfect for picnicking, kayaking or nature hiking. The park is bordered by four bodies of water which include the Gulf of Mexico, Sarasota Bay, Big Pass and Brushy Bayo. We will enter the western part of the beach first. There are beautiful views from South Lido Beach, including to downtown Sarasota, so you can see the skyline of Sarasota, and Siesta Key, depending on which side of the beach you're on. From here, you'll be able to see Siesta Key. Now we're headed to the eastern side of South Lido Beach, which faces Big Sarasota Pass in the bay. It's great for off the beach fishing, as you can see. You can also view downtown Sarasota from here. If you are planning a stay in Sarasota, make sure to visit this beach. It is well worth your time just for the views in the nature park. We'll be driving back home through St. Norman Circle over the Ringling Bridge. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos such as this one. So I hope you enjoyed this trip. If you're planning to move here, let me know. I'm more than happy to help you. Have a great day and take care.